Zion Williamson is a walking puzzle wrapped in a basketball jersey. From the moment he stepped onto the NBA stage as the top pick in 2019, the expectations were sky high, but it hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows for this young baller. He is the league's ultimate high-risk, high-reward phenom, yet shrouded in a cloud of relentless scrutiny. The debate around him is relentless, and the comments are endless. But rewind a bit. At first, the NBA community was tossing Zion some love. However, things have taken a sharp turn recently. The love train made an unexpected stop. And now, the critiques are flying in from every direction. The so-called Zion Williamson supporters have hit the brakes, and the skeptics are steering this conversation in a new direction. From adoration to admonition, from praise to skepticism, this is the Zion Williamson saga, where the only thing consistent is the chaos. LeBron James. Let's start with the king himself, LeBron James. In a rare display of camaraderie, LeBron extended a hand of understanding to Zion. James said, I love everything about the kid. I understand exactly some of the things he's going through. Being a number one and everybody is saying, you should be this, you should be that. You should be the face of a franchise. You got to do this. You got to do that. Kid has done nothing but just keep his head down. Keep pushing. And he's in great shape right now. Very toned. Something we've never seen for a talent with his size, his speed, and his athleticism. He's like a Giannis, Barkley, or Shaq. Just certain times they come into our league and you've never seen before. LeBron's admiration for Zion is palpable. Praising the kid's work ethic and undeniable talent. Shaquille O'Neal. But not everyone is singing Zion's praises. Shaquille O'Neal, a dominant force in his prime, is known for his blunt takes, and he has also taken a swing at Zion's commitment to conditioning. The inside the NBA crew weighed in on Zion's frustrations. Shaq didn't hold back, stating, when it comes to being a dominant big man, I am the authority. I am the go-to guy. I sat there and watched him. You know, I said he doesn't run hard. He doesn't create easy baskets for himself, and it looked like he's not ready. That was me telling him, if you do this, you can get to the next level. Carl Malone. And it isn't Shaq only who sees this. In an interview on the Knuckleheads podcast, Carl Malone didn't hold back. Malone straight up said, Guys, I love Zion Williamson. If he don't get in the shape, we might not ever know his full potential. He needs to be averaging 40 minutes a game. You are a 21, 22-year-old kid. Your body shouldn't be getting tired. Williamson is a force of nature on the court. A spectacle that defies logic and reason. But lurking beneath the surface lies a challenge. A hurdle that threatens to derail his career. Charles Barkley. In an interview with Sirius XM NBA Radio, Barkley laid bare the harsh realities facing Zion. With the weight of his journey behind him, Barkley spoke, urging Zion to confront the demons that threatened to derail his ascension. Barkley said, You see what's going on down in New Orleans with Zion? I wish Zion had a bet on his team or a coach who could say, Yo, man, you got to get in shape. You can't play basketball at your weight. I was so blessed and fortunate that Moses told me, Chuck, son, you fat. And you lazy and i did what any grown man would do i went to my condo and cried like a little woman and then moses said if you want to get into shape i'll help you get in shape and he helped me lose 50 pounds fast forward to the present and barkley's voice still reverberates through the airwaves once again this time with a harsher tone after witnessing the pelican struggle firsthand barkley mints no words in his assessment of zion's performance he said He's got two guys on his team that are better players than him, and they shouldn't be. He should be the best player, and he's not even close. I told you, I've been very disappointed. He's averaging six rebounds in a game. He's only had two double-doubles all season. A big guy that talented should never get less than 10 rebounds. He should be averaging 11, 12 rebounds a game, but he doesn't run the floor at all. These words clearly demand accountability. They represent some of the expectations that reveal the harsh reality of Zion's journey. Carmelo Anthony. Now, Melo, the man who knows a thing or two about entering the league as a young star, didn't hold back on his 7 p.m. in Brooklyn podcast. He spoke directly to Zion, cutting through the noise with a message of raw truth. He said, I think from the beginning, was so much put on Zion, like thrown at him. You have to be the next. You are the logo. You are the next guy. We haven't seen anything like this since 03. So now he's dealing with the mental aspect of, I just want to be young, but it's so much pressure. So you start battling that and now injuries come. So now it's too heavy. He's this, he's that. He needs to be disciplined. You are not going to have that longevity that we are talking about if you don't have that discipline. My message to Zion is discipline. Carmelo traveled similar terrain in his ascent to stardom with the Denver Nuggets. He clearly understands the pressures that weigh upon young shoulders. Jamal Crawford. In talking about pressure, Jamal Crawford in an interview unveiled the harsh reality facing Zion. He declared, Zion was set up for failure, pinpointing the weight of unreal expectations that loomed over this young prodigy even before his NBA debut. As the number one pick, the burden only intensified, suffocating Zion beneath the weight of anticipation. Yet, amidst the clamor, Zion struggles to break free, his achievements overshadowed by the looming specter of what could have been. In a striking parallel, Crawford drew comparisons to LeBron James. While LeBron soared to unparalleled 
heights. Zion grapples with the shadows of unfulfilled promise. The difference lies not in talent, but in the resilience to weather the storm. But amidst the storm of scrutiny, Zion stands at the crossroads, a beacon of potential waiting to be realized. The echoes of criticism ring loud, condemning his lackluster performance and professional shortcomings. But within this criticism lies the seed of transformation, a chance for him to rewrite the narrative and forge a legacy worthy of his talent. JJ Reddick. On an appearance on First Take, J.J. Reddick spared no words in expressing his observations about Zion Williamson's role as a teammate. Reddick declared, There's a responsibility that you have as an athlete when you play a team sport to be fully invested. You're fully invested in your body. You're fully invested in your work. And you're fully invested in your teammates. That is your responsibility. And we have not seen that from Zion. Nick Wright. But there are a few guys who are still believing in Zion's potential. On First Things First, Nick Wright boldly declared his belief in Zion's ascent to the All-NBA team. He stated, Zion's gonna make an All-NBA team. Yeah, he's only played 85 games. You know what he's done in those 85 games? He's kicked everyone's teeth in. 26 points at 60% shooting. Wright's conviction is contagious as he highlights Zion's elite performance in the limited games he has played. The promise of a player who, when on the court, leaves an indelible mark. Wright and the Pelicans share a common hope that this brilliance is not just a fleeting spark, but a sustained flame. A belief in the longevity of greatness, making Zion one of the NBA elites. CJ McCollum. Recently, in an exchange with Kendrick Perkins, CJ McCollum peeled back the layers of Zion's preparation and dedication. McCollum said, I asked him what he was doing during the break. He talked about five games in seven days that we have come out of this back to back. And we talked about how we have a gap of six games in about 14 or 15 days. Shout out to the schedule gods. We're excited about that. But he said, I got treatment in the morning. I have a lift with my stepfather. McCollum's words paint a portrait of dedication and discipline. The team. Now, the Pelicans boast a formidable trio in Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, and CJ McCollum, each commanding hefty salaries north of $33 million per season. Yet, this issue of luxury tax looms large, casting a shadow over the team's aspirations for roster stability and long-term success. As the franchise braces for future extensions, for rising talents like Herb Jones, Trey Murphy III, and Jordan Hawkins, tough choices must be made. Financial constraints are tightening, and the Pelicans may have to part with one of their marquee stars. Zion stands at the center of space speculation and uncertainty. His injury history and struggles with conditioning are red flags for the organization. They cast doubt on his long-term prospects in the Big Easy. Despite his flashes of brilliance and a promising trajectory, Williamson can't stay healthy for a full season. This poses a big challenge for the Pelicans' front office. As the Pelicans are weighing their options, they face a daunting task, choosing between Williamson and Ingram. This is a pivotal moment in the team's trajectory, and while both players possess undeniable talent, various considerations dictate that sacrifices must be made to ensure the team's financial stability and future success. The road ahead is full of uncertainty, and only time will tell. And speaking of NBA stars, take advantage of the next video. Dive deep into the intrigue surrounding Victor Wimbanyama and discover why he's too big for the NBA. Hit play now to uncover the secrets of basketball's next big sensation. Until next time, stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next video. Ciao.